How'd you think today went? Today was really good. It was, uh, for all of us who've been around um, and seen a lot of these workouts, um, I would say this was one of the more competitive ones. Yeah. And you can kind of predict that given who you're bringing in. But it was very uh, high energy, spirited workout. Go ahead. How much of that is just the personality of these guys? Like we talk to them and they're super exuberant and expressive. What, yeah. How does that add to It's a chatty group. <laughs> <laughs> it was a chatty group on the floor. Um, yeah, you know, they're, they, they're the ones that make the workout. Our coaches did a great job kind of keeping the drills um, high energy and, and moving along quickly and, and very competitive, but they, the players make it. They bring the energy and they, they define what the workout's going to be, and uh, that's who they are. These guys are, are go-getters, all the guys that were in today. It's no, it's no different than any year, but draft comes before free agency, before most trades, mm -hmm. off-season trades happen. Uh, and you have six free agents or whatever it is, almost by necessity there's going to be some change. Um, do you have to sort of forget about the context of your team when going into the, the draft process almost? Uh, no, I don't think you can. You have to try to define who the best player is, if that's kind of what yeah. you're kind of driving at. But you also have to put that in the framework of what your team is. Yeah. And there are moments when you do just say it's just a best player situation. And then there are moments, depending on what your team is, where you can try to fill a need. And uh, you're always kind of balancing that against what deals you're looking at and what, where you think you, uh, you're, the potential of your team can take you this season. So it's all these different push-pulls that you're trying to kind of freeze in a moment the day the draft comes and figure that out. The guys are in and they're out pretty quickly, but aside from on the court, do you get a feel for who these guys are just watching how they interact with each other? Off or the with, court? Yeah. Or with so, so the process is we've met with a few of them in Chicago already. Mm -hmm. We have the interview process. We get to see them. Obviously, we've scouted them a bunch. We've done a lot of background right. work. Um, so we do get to uh, put our arms on them a little bit and, and get a feel for who they are as people. Uh, the ones that we don't have that, we will get that today. So we'll meet with a couple that we haven't had a chance to meet with yet. Uh, but that's a very, very important part of the process for us is spending some time with them and, and asking them about themselves and how they grew up and just who they are. Yep. You've seen these guys before, obviously, and seen right. what they could do. What do you get from today? Like, what do you, what, what do you, what do you come in one of, these, one of these looking for? These workouts are great because this is the one time in all the process from, from when we start tagging them as high school kids that we get to control the process. So scouting, the Chicago Combine, it's all kind of set up for us, it's all staged, it's all um, managed. And this is our process. And so what we get out of it is we try to figure out um, who guys are gonna be when they're put in competitive situations that we're controlling. Who are they gonna be, what, what, what parts of their games are gonna kind of show through that pressure, what parts of their personalities are gonna show through that pressure, and uh, as we were talking earlier, but get to know them too off the court. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us, if you can tell us much, about how each player did today, or if anyone stood out? Or well, I can't, I can't be too specific, <laughs> but I mean, I can tell you that it was, like I said, one of the more spirited workouts. They really did compete uh, very hard. You know, um, anyone who follows uh, these guys closely, as many of you guys do, know what issues we're looking for for each of them. So a lot of the drills and a lot of the live action are specifically designed to see how, how those issues are going to surface. Mm -hmm. And um, I can't really speak to like, what we saw today, but you know, the, the, they, they, the, the, the number one thing is, and, and, and it's not a prerequisite, is that they play hard and compete and, and don't kind of give in to the fatigue, to the level, level of competitiveness, and none of them did that today, which was very encouraging for our pick. Three weeks out, how much certainty can you have about the sort of group of players that are going to be available for you at 20, assuming you don't move up or down, uh, versus, uh, I mean, how much certainty is yeah. there? You guys know as well as we do. Yeah. I mean, I think we can narrow that's it comforting. down to a loose <laughs> Yeah, well, that's, that's the draft. We can narrow it down to a loose group, yeah. but within that, who knows? Yeah. I mean, you know, there are draft day surprises, so, you know, three weeks out, there are going to be, you know, how many surprises? Um, but we do have a defined group that I think we can safely kind of predict that our, our pick will come from this group of players. And so we're trying to like really learn that group. Yeah. That, that's the goal right now. Would that be like 10 guys at this moment or is it smaller than that? Can you tell me? Um, uh, I, honestly, I know this sounds like that I'm, it's, it's ultra vague that yeah. I can't even like get into that, but I don't even want to define that yeah. because some of it is 
uh, seeing guys against each other, and, yeah. and there are so there there's like the group, but then there are like the fringes of the group, yeah. and so that's always in flux. Sorry. No, it's all right. <laughs> it's your job. Right. <laughs> How big a weight do you put on your interviews? You're trying to assess personalities over talent. Like, where does that fit in your? Oh, we think it's really important. Um, you know, we look at this as some, bringing someone into our family, bringing someone into our business that we've got to um, work with every day and, and the person has to have the tools to learn and to be a teammate and to uh, hopefully uh, keep and even elevate our standard of culture. And so it's a really important piece for us to figure out who this guy is. Is he team oriented? Is he competitive? Um, how does he respond to adversity? Um, all those things matter greatly to us. Everybody has agents now, everyone gets prepared. How tough is it to dig that out of someone? But they've been, they've been coached to what to say. Yeah, no, it's a great question. I mean, um, I feel bad for the kids actually because they, they have to do this gauntlet of, of interviews in Chicago and by the time they get to the end of the last day, they've met with 15 teams and I, I guarantee you 85% of those questions are the exact same questions. You can only ask certain questions. But you know, you try to just get a feel for their energy level and maybe like scratch below the surface a little bit. You are gonna get somewhat of a canned response and somewhat of a practiced answer, but I think generally you can kinda, you can get, get the vibe of the kid. You can get, get his energy level, you can get his sense of humor, you can get his level of seriousness. And hopefully through that, you talk to a lot of people who, uh, uh, in, his, in his history, high school coaches, you know, guidance counselors, AAU coaches, and then his college guys, you know, strength coaches. And we try to put all of that together and say, okay, this is to the best of our ability, this is the puzzle, this is this is the picture that this puzzle pieces are putting together for us. Does potentially having your own D-League team, I know that's not done yet, does it right. make you more excited to be able to mold, like, or more comfortable knowing you'll be able to mold a young kid in a certain way? If we are able to get a D-League team, it will definitely it will definitely um, present an opportunity for that kid to grow in yeah. ways and develop with our hands on him, yeah. which is everything, in ways that we can't do right now. Yeah. So the answer is yes. Yep.